Okay, hello, welcome. Uh, I wonder if you out there are sort of shocked and dazed like I am and feel that this is an essential moment in our culture uh, where we will look back and say, remember when that happened and what followed on because of it? We've had the Me Too movement and the whole movement of of universal recognition of the idea that we condemn the idea of violence, sexual violence, physical violence against women. I've been waiting for the moment in which we have an extension of that in which we talk about no more violence against people, that we, we agree universally that violence, unprovoked violence, is not acceptable behavior for any of us. And here we are, a short moment on from this event happening. Chris Rock is a very well-known comedian. He sometimes says things which are, some people consider as being controversial, but he's known as being a, quite an intelligent producer of, of humor. And his humor is often multifaceted in that it, um, it makes strong social commentary at the same time. However, quite a, a tame joke, as Chris Rock, Rock is, himself says. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both So nominated. here he is making a joke now, about a married loses, couple. He can't win! Suggesting that he should be frightened of her he response. Praying that Will Smith wins, so that's quite a heavy tease. Lord. And then this tease Jada, happens. I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Alright? is making a reference there to the fact that she has had her hair shaved. Look at the expression on her face. Will Smith, at this moment, is laughing at the joke. Then, possibly, at some point, he looks across at Jaden, Jada and sees her disdain for this joke. And then this happens. That was a, that was a nice one. Okay. Was a very here. tame oh, joke. <laughs> now, he sees Will Smith approaching, and we all think that this is going to be some type of funny thing, that Will Smith is going to do something humorous. What follows is not funny. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Now, look at the expression on Will Smith's face just there. That expression is what really, really surprises me. Let's look at the whole... I mean, Chris Rock is obviously shocked. Remember that these two guys are friends. They have associated over a long period of time, contributed to one another's works. Um... Oh, wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. And Will Smith... Casually looks away. Bit of a smirk going on there for a moment. Holds his head up, thinking that this is perfectly fine. His eyebrows are raised. He looks, he's looking at someone. I'm guessing the people that he was sitting with. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Nick and and then that wow, happens dude. and then it goes further yeah, it was a and look at this lady's face behind him gi jane joke keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth now it seems to me jada smith was sitting to that lady's left her eyes dart for a quick moment and then quickly look away i'm going to okay Oh, I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now, the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. 
like you watched them, like, you know, like you read a book or something. So amazingly, he's going on after being hit in the face. You can see that his jaw is hurting. He's just continuing on and being a professional. He's really showing a, a quality of humanity, which I don't think I could get anywhere near like. So uh, after all of this, so Will Smith just hit him. He hasn't said anything more than expressed shock, and he's going on. Now, in Will Smith's mind right now, he must be... I would think right now he'd be feeling some level of the tension, the adrenaline of just going and hitting someone, wearing off. And he's starting now to think through his head of, this is not going to go well for me. This is... I've just assaulted someone on television. There's no way of getting out of it. I've just used expletives, yelled from the audience. The, the tide is turning against him, so he's quickly churning up the thing that he should do to try and make this situation better. I went looking for an apology that uh, Will Smith might have might have made, and this is the the best version of it I've been able to find because it runs the longest. So I just want to re run it now and see what he's going to say. As Okay, so there's a, a art of language interpretation which is called semantics, which is studying the words that you use. Because the words that we use display a lot about our thinking processes and tell a lot about the thoughts behind why we are saying what we're saying. Take, for instance, Bill Clinton's famous statement of I did not have sex with that woman. We can tell a lot about his thought processes by the words he chose. I did not. A non-contraction like that is often a sign of someone lying. So didn't is the thing that he should have said there. He also says that woman. He attempts to distance himself from the position of Monica Lewinsky from saying that. So let's look at what Will Smith has to say here in relation to semantics, the words that he chooses. Now, what he could do here is take a moment to sort of step back and essentially apologize and say, I did the wrong thing, I'm terribly sorry. But more than and more importantly than that, say to his vast numbers of fans, myself up to this moment being one of them, particularly to young people watching, this is not the way to handle disputes. I have done the wrong thing. I have stepped out of what is the correct way of behaving and I have fallen to violence and we do not condone violence as a means for settling disputes. He's smiling. This already doesn't look good. Um, so, bear with me as we discover what he's going to say. And I'm going to be stopping it a little bit, bit to maybe make commentary, depending on what he has to say. Oh, yeah. uh, this is, I think, after he's accepted an award. Um, Richard Williams... Um was a fierce defender of his family. Oh, okay. Well, you heard the crowd made some groans there. Okay, this is not starting off well. Um. Okay, um, so, yeah, apparently the action he did was as a defender, not an offender. Okay, it, it's already starting badly. Let's see what happens next. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me oh. to do and be in this world. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, now, I don't know what God he's referring to there. Um, I don't want to make assumptions. I have no knowledge about what particular God Will Smith believes in, but apparently it's a God that uh, 
condones assaulting people. And, and he's really going so far as to try to obviate his reaction, his actions, that it's uh, in his duty to his god. Um. <laughs> okay, that that's bordering on megalomaniac, uh, but what's noticeable here is he has just assaulted someone and he's talking about I, 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 I'm being called on. He's wanting to draw the attention away from the person he attacked and center it all on himself and the suffering, no doubt, is the line that he's going to go with. He's going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm suffering and I'm not going to take, I'm, I'm going to, so apparently he has to defend from jokes um, and that he's going to be the victim in this, or, or he's going to suggest that someone else is a victim. Yeah. Wow. Uh, look, people, take responsibility for your actions. If you do something, if you happen to believe in, a, in an imaginary person, that's up to you, but um, laying the blame on them is... It's cowardly. And I'm amazed to see someone as accomplished and clever as Will Smith taking that cowardly direction. But maybe it gets better. Let's see. Making this film, I got to protect Ingenue Ellis, who was one of the most... Okay, I should point out at this time... That most delicate I clicked on this met. one because it says Will Smith's apology. I, I want to see if he actually apologizes. So all he's talking about is who he protects. He's a protector. Because he has to punch people in the face to protect against something. Hang, did he, he actually said, I'm going to protect the actresses. From what? Being in the film industry? What is he going on about? I'm being called on in my life to love people. Uh, love people. That's a very interesting definition of love. Punching people is about loving. And to protect people. Again, interesting notion of protection. And to be a river to my people. You what? Be a river to my people? What, and sweep them all away in a current? Yes. Is it possible that Will Smith is on something right now? Hmm. He's certainly know not thinking much about what he's saying now. To do what we you do. you got to be able to take... Abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. Oh, okay, right, here we go. So this is the line he's, he's going on. Yep, he, he didn't respond to a joke, which previously we saw him laughing at. Now it's abuse. Making a joke about a haircut is abuse. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. Disrespecting. Mm -hmm. And you gotta smile and you gotta pretend like that's okay. A joke about her hair was disrespecting her. But Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, B. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Denzel does not look very happy, does he? I don't know what's going on inside his head, but what I am seeing is him going, Oh, God, Will, what have you done? And how are you going to justify this? And I'm not impressed with what you've said so far. That's what I see in his expression. He doesn't have raised eyebrows. He's not sympathizing. He's... It's like that's a very disappointed stare. I want to be a vessel. Yeah, see him covering his mouth there? Him covering up his mouth? Vessel. He's not happy with what's coming out? 
He's thinking and covering up his mouth to stop what he's saying. For love. I want to say thank you to Venus. Punching Serena. people is not a vessel. TV. Um, I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena and the entire Williams family for entrusting me with your story. That's what I want to do. I want to be an ambassador of that kind of love and care and concern. Um, I hate to tell you this, Will, but ambassadors don't assault people. That That is not in the job description of ambassadors. So we're halfway through and no apology yet. I want to apologize to the Academy. <laughs> I want to apologize to my father. That's funny. Okay, so he's, he is going to apologize now. Okay, let's listen to see whether he apologizes to Chris Rock. The Academy, I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, and Chris Rock, I want to apologize for assaulting him. Can You can do it, Will. You can do it. I want to apologize. This is a beautiful moment, and I'm not... No, no, it isn't. I'm not, I'm not crying for winning an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being okay. able to shine light. Is he feeling his mascul masculinity is threatened right now? And, and Trevor and Needed Zach to point out that he's Sinai feeling ashamed for Demi crying. And Ingenue and the entire cast. And I'm going to keep uh, reaching King until people Venus start clapping. The, the, the oh, I got there. Oh, now people are going to clap. Oh, thank goodness I got through that without tumbleweeds going by. Yep, and he doesn't believe it. That's why he's shaking uh, his head. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. No, you don't look like, like the crazy father. father. Like um, no, nope, you have behaved like a crazy person. Crazy oh, get out of town. Um, oh, oh, that... What a... To my mother, I'm just sorry. Just uh, take a moment to a look at, at the expression is... there. Wow. I'm not even going to comment on the expression on that face. You you just draw your own comparison. Just imagine someone else, not a celebrity, but someone else who has that expression on their face. Clamped together lips. Narrowed eyes. Trying very hard to look like what's been done is acceptable. Wow. She knew that mother, camera was on her just then. Um, a lot of this to my mother. It's really complicated for me, but uh, to, to my mother, um, she didn't want to come out. She's had her knitting friend. She has a knitting crew that she's in Philly watching. <laughs> watching with. Um, um, being able to love and care for my mother and my family. My wife. Because that's what um, he's all about, of course. Too much time. Uh, all about love. That's why he punches thank people. Thank you for this honor. Thank you for this moment. I thank you on behalf of Richard and, and Orsine and the entire Williams family. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, hope the Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> well, that will be pending on criminal charges, maybe. Because you've just committed an assault. Now, I know Chris Rock will probably not do anything about it at all. Um, I really hope he does, though. I, I hope he makes a stand against powerful people committing acts of violence and thinking it's okay. And that they can actually justify it and say... And He, he did not try in the slightest to ask ask for the forgiveness of Chris Rock uh, even if Chris Rock intended to slight his wife he can say whatever he likes he can he can shout at him if he likes he has no right to lay his hands on anyone um if I'm wondering what would happen right now if he just went and punched a, a female colleague in the face I think we would probably have no sympathy for it whatsoever. It, it will be interesting to watch the sociological reaction 
of how this goes down. I, I have a feeling it's going to be divided between fans of Will Smith who think that everything that he does is gold and there's no way of being negatively critical of what he does and other people who are ambivalent who just see it for in terms of the actions that have taken place. But an assault has been committed and we're now going to see whether a very influential person gets to just walk away from it. Uh, what I am very clear of, of what I'm feeling right now, is a massive loss of regard for Will Smith. It, not not because of the assault so much. So people do stupid things in stupid moments. These dumb things happen. But he's had moments to reflect. And the best he can do is say he only did it because he's a protector against abuse. Um, sorry, Will. I know a lot of people who would behave far better than you in this moment, and my regard for you has plummeted. So I'm hoping that, that you can do something to redeem it and actually demonstrate how people should act after doing actions like this. I'm really, really hoping that's the case. But if he doesn't, I'm equally hoping that, like all people who do such things, he be held accountable.